Fala galera, tranquilo? Estou aqui no início do vídeo para convidar todos vocês para participar da nossa comunidade Aleartes, um grupo relacionado especialmente para CSGO. Vamos trocar bastante ideia sobre o jogo, sorteios, lobbies, mix com a galera e outras novidades exclusivas para todos que estiveram no grupo. Então não perde tempo, é de graça e infelizmente as vagas são limitadas. Link vai estar na descrição do vídeo, basta descer a tela aí e entrar, fechou? Vejo todos vocês lá, é nóis guys! Obviously, something that a lot of teams of ours have found a lot of success with, just having one really powerful player like that. Electronic with the dually is, is off hunting already. Not scared at all, even though he's not got much backup here. Gonna get that one kill eventually, a little bit after the fact. Bit shows up, but yeah, a little bit late to the party, perhaps. Potentially so. It seems like the lights are off and everyone's starting to leave. But you never know, you can always revitalize things. Bits with the snapshot onto device simple lurking around the rear as well with the dualies two guns in his hands and no connections yet this is a bit weird i'm yeah this has actually been some really upsetting kind of engagement so far for astralis they run into perfecto and he's gonna get at least one there two on two now at the end of it but both simple and bit were almost impossible i think for astralis to actually guess what was going on that's just such a hard position to clear both of them they're gonna get the bomb down so this is an all-out chaotic round that we're witnessing yeah it's flip-flopping it's bouncing back and forth like a ball in a game of ping ball and now this is where maybe you can normalize things just off the back of your raw skill bit picks up the dually simple switches to the usp but it's not silent it's bold it's brash and it's zip trying to clutch onto things what's the 4k and he's gonna get it with the glock astralis for the pistol and they haven't really got close a couple of times but that doesn't always translate into the rifle rounds Oh, Flash coming through. Blame it. His read of the situation is sick. He knew what was coming, but they still traded evenly. It's MPL coming up with a double. And you need to shut down Blame early on as well. I feel like he's a bit of a boulder on this map. As soon as he starts rolling, right, there's nothing you can do to stop him. And he loves those aggressive plays with CT, so if you can starve out the confidence early, it will help you. Here, though, it's all about trying to make some big plays with a pistol prowess. They have got a smoke, but that's not what they need right now on the CT side. Oh, Ooh, the timing is so awkward. Oh. oh, man. If he just held it, he would have been probably fine because they, they didn't have anything to flash their way back into that fight. Obviously, no kit either at the moment. So either way, this probably is a lost round to Navi, but they could do some real damage here. Tapping the bomb quickly. Buzz not really buying it early on. He still goes down and simple. Now back on it. That's not quite how you do it. I don't think they have the time for it, even with the spamming. They're not feeling that they're hitting the spam, but yeah, it's just, it's a little bit too close. And ultimately the bomb will consume everybody. They all go down. Talking of decay, there could be some death in quick succession as Bit playing close to the angle. Buzz losing a ton of health as well. Set up now for Bit to start to pick his way through the pieces, but they eventually spot him. One frag. Blame him for the back electronic. He's just swung in, Anders. How did he even get there? Did he just run for the smoke? What a crazy turnaround. Almost hunting it down. Simple. Ooh. Not getting the headshot that he needed there on Sip, and he was running out of bullets on top of everything else. Now it's another two on two. This is such a scrappy start for both teams. But they're not fully electronic. I don't think Navi even get close to getting in this round. Now, the bomb is being trafficked all the way back towards the B bomb site. And I think it's going to get there. I think just now Perfecto realized, and he's going to run knife out. He might just match the timing here. This is really, really hard for Blamef to win. Yeah, they know. They know everything. Oh, and they don't need more than a bullet. Perfecto getting the last they one. They walked right through. This is incredibly bold. Yeah, I'm shocked that Perfecto's thinking about that. That's... Heads up play for Perfecto. He could have just as well walked straight into that and died. But the problem is, Blamef is such a master at playing these late rounds that even if you check, he could still show up and simple. He's going to be mad, but it probably won't matter. Bomb is going to be defused on the other side, but it's, it tells you something about how much they understand each other. I guarantee that's definitely simple checking for Blamef at the start. Posing force, taking map control here though. His Glaive didn't expect the re-swing, but Blame certainly did. He's sharp in the middle, missed opportunity there, device, but Buzz is going to be a secondary player in the middle. And this is fine, Astralis will take it. Now there's that push coming out of the B-bomb site finally, the one that Astralis has been worried about for a while. Sip though has crip... It's all ifs and buts though. Can this man clap the cheeks? Not on the first as Electronics will rip his face apart and Perfecto comes in clean as well. Rough push their way in. Rotation's already starting to develop as well. Electronic and Bit 
Now bolstering the defense, the dynamic duo. Can they deal some damage? Boost coming up again. Bit with the flick. There's the double. Blame F, the only one to cause some trouble. They've really been trying that boost quite a bit, and this time it was just too much. Two people kind of watching it. MPL looked like he was distracted momentarily. Maybe could have taken the fight otherwise. Three versus four. And there's about 50 seconds left. Blame F is the one with the bomb, but he's all the way up against the back tunnel of that A bomb site. So don't necessarily know if it's going to be easy for him to find a bomb plant here. And I think Astralis have just decided to have a little bit of space here for Navi to maybe expose themselves Ooh. like that. Yeah, he's got the angle for it. He knows it. Ooh, MPL, good what? shot. And the boost falls flat as well. It's just sip, but two of them are very low on health. He wanted to see if he could spray that all the way down, but it's not going to be working out. They have the kit, and they will get yeah. the Blame F and Glaive. If they keep going, I think they're going to be dead in this position. Should be very hard to break this one open. They will get the shot on Electronic, and there's the eventual collapse. Bit and MPL able to secure the situation, but on the other side, Astralis are kind of pushing in, but that distraction isn't really enough. I mean, if they would have got the bomb plant, maybe at the exact same time, it would have been kind of worth it, but this is starting to feel a bit awkward. That is one hell of a shot. Such a gap device. What? He's going to keep on going. Walks right into Bit and sends him to an early grave. Simple and Perfecto are left, and they're in trouble. Perfecto not even close to being able to do this. He should by all rights be walking away. He's going to take one more kill with him, but um, it will be a seventh round here for Astralis. Dude, if we, if we can see that. Perfecto, this is so dangerous with a FAMAS. He's going to be able to get one of them, but Buzz, quick on the return. Bomb is committed to it, so that's a bit awkward. It's going to allow Na'Vi to make a rotation feeling pretty comfortable. They're probably still going to be looking for Blamer from the back, although this time he is with the rest of the team a little bit more. And the smoke up to pick up the bomb. Now, that's interesting. Glaive goes down next. And this is looking real good for Na'Vi to at least try and get that sixth round on the board. Flash goes in. Blame F and Device, the last two. Really would have to be something decisive here. Detonation on top of Electronic, though, and that will be felt. 28 HP left. Time starting to tick away somewhat. Blame up to his old tricks. Loves a bit of cave action. He's good at splunking. He's good at picking up frags here. And it's allowed him to rejoin with his teammate as well. So they're grouped up. Final 30 seconds. Bomb on the back. One flash to play with. From such a good start towards the bottom side. And now starting to kind of fizzle out a little bit at the end here. MPL goes down, but the follow-up challenge is not quite there in device. He just didn't really have the health to try and do this with. Not even about it being a one versus three, but just the time and the health that's left. Some preemptive wall bangs, electronic at the end, and a nine to six a fight. Device is going to be smoked off, and he just can't really see what he's actually even gunning for. Simple will stop the rotation from the middle. Blame F is still there lurking. And device, good guesses, but no headshots allowed. No clean connection. Simple's attention turned, but it's because Bit was down by the bottom, and he's able to hit Blame straight in the cranium. So, three CTs left alive. All of them about to walk into what effectively could be the abattoir, as the kills are coming in thick and fast. It will be Na'Vi. Donut. They have a couple of Molotovs, and that's how they're traditionally used, but he is quick to jump. Oh, Buzz on top of the Molotov. He's somehow, well, he's finally going to go down there. Perfecto put him out of his misery. Three on three. We're down to about 27 seconds. So running out of time a little bit here. Bomb is being attempted. The Blame F, he's got the right call. Gets the kill. 20 seconds still now. And Perfecto in a one versus two. They never got the bomb planted. They had to stop because Blame F was right on top of them. And now they're finally going to be able to punch those digits in. Perfecto on the other side. Not a bad person to have left here for Na'Vi. This would be a huge shock if they could win this round. This is how Na'Vi get back and actually try and win Ancient. They need this early on. There's the one device. Oh. Misses it. And Perfecto's back. Caught on him. Something absolutely monstrous to reopen this door. Yeah, they need him to step it up because the bomb is about to get planted. And in a four on four, Perfecto is actually in a position to flank them as well. Glaive goes down. They might not even be able to save here, Astralis. This is... This is quite a dangerous position they're in. Sip setting up, trying to see if he can flash his way into it. He's got the right idea and a lot of damage, but simple. He was just meditating his way out of that pain. He just wasn't even moving, just waiting around for it. Electronic going to be a lot more accurate. Man, I had a fair bit of criticism I wanted to throw Navi's way for this round, but they've, they've done it just fine. There's not even any problem. 
I was concerned by the fact it's that... It's not fair. It's just not fair. Device, though, I'm pretty sure he is going to offer a free surgery that would have allowed a hat to be placed on the head. Instead, it's just Bit being dead as Buzz will battle his way through him. And suddenly there's four Na'Vi members trying to teeter their way back around to grab the bomb and secure A. All right. That was... Very, very weird and scrappy fight going on. They had the right idea, Buzz. He was crouching in and pre-aiming it, but Perfecto, full-on Chad, just spinning around and taking him down. Not interested in any of that crawly, crab walk, anything. Perfecto now running oh. over, hitting more headshots. He's absolutely demolished Astralis in this round. What an absurd performance. Admin, he's doing it sideways. The guy's literally just leaping down and taking fights. You know, lay low like... Candles. Jackie, scented or not? Uh, hopefully unscented, right? You want to keep them clean. You don't want any sort of impurity, I guess, while you're burning things. That's not the best way to go about things. Although they are going to get the opening Ooh. here and with the vice, the timing could have been better. It's perfect to us. Well, nice to get him out of the round. Five versus three. Surely, Jackie, they cannot lose this round. You'd hope so, and don't call me Shirley. Let's see where this can go then, as they do only have those three players you mentioned left. NPL is going to back off to grab the bomb. You've still got tons of time. You've got utility, but they've got a device, and this man with a decisive angles wants to slave himself a slice and see if he can just cut through them with the orb. He's pushing up as well. The timing's good, simple, nearly showing a bit too much skin. He peeks in, and instantly device hits the shot. Once more, though, he's never content, this guy. Got a big belly on him, and a damn mean shot as well. NPL goes flying and bit. Has to battle it back. One man versus the world. Really cool to see the device back in action. Some of those shots, you could see they look very, very crisp. And that's what everyone's hoping for. It's still early days, of course, for him returning to this professional level. But, man, you could see the glimmer of it right there. It's beautiful. Bit is running out of time. And all of his teammates are already dead. So this should be impossible. A bomb planning itself would be a miracle. And I think Astronas are playing around that same concept. A little bit aggressive there. They shouldn't give him any chances here. There's no point. Just wait until he actually shows up at the bomb site and tries to plant. That's pretty much it. Eight seconds now. And he's trying to make it difficult. Buzz will find him at the end, and it's finally around. Try and play around Zip. And the call is coming in as well. So the teammates rotating the flashbang. Pretty damn on point. Leaves him dazed and confused. Tucks into the left and can't abuse from that angle. Electronic sniffs him out. Na'Vi starting to come out and show us what they've got in store. Molotov doesn't really do anything. It's on the wrong side of the pillar. Carla Molotov, though, will absolutely slow down this attempted retake for the Astralis side. And they kind of have to do it, although now it might be too late. Device is going to pick up one kill, but they need a lot more out of that. And he is now on his own, trying to see if he can snipe his way back into the round. A little bit of a bait jump there to try and pick up the shot from Simple on the other side. But creeping on in, he's in a lot of trouble here. Going to be walking straight into Electronic. A double kill for him and a double kill for Simple. And it's Navi on 15 rounds. They've brought this game right back. I'm really impressed. He must have heard that drop down. Yeah, he is well aware. He knows this is a second player there because the boost was definitely on the other side. It, I don't know how, but the FAMAS comes out on top. Buzz with the killer device. Perfect timing coming out of the donut. That's the bomb on the ground. And this is a round that I think Navi will just, they'll just want it back because they actually had bit all the way in the middle. They could have rotated it around and hit that A bomb site. What? All right, he's still got that one. Surely they can't win. This is a two on four. Even if Sip and Buzz are a bit low on health, the bomb is on the ground and Buzz is on the radio, surely just calling it in, saying, please, I need somebody to show up and help me out. Oh, bit with the dink, it could be the difference between him being the main man in moments like this. Exposes himself to Buzz as well. And the final 30 seconds all falls down as simple. Can he hurt this round back? He gets the backstab off, but instantly the famous in the face. Sure eventually, oh, they're bringing it back. They're actually running the bomb back. Even after they almost have the bomb site with 20 seconds. Now Perfecto is going to go and check if anyone is actually in B. This is a super crazy call for Navi, but it could work. Device needs to make a Project X play. Heads have got a roll. Not his own, though. Electronic. Sick and smooth as he abuses with the AK. And now the bomb is down and Astralis getting lined up to be slain. Blame F hits the DECK and it's all on Buzz. The man's finished off. 16 to 11. They lock it down. That's a very, very impressive call at the end. Very low on time. And if, if, if Device hits that shot instead, the bomb is on the ground and they might be in trouble. But we'll...